Hello, wonderful teachers. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use Google Slides to make an adventure story. It's a super fun activity, and the best part is you can do it or your students can do it as an assignment. Here are some ideas of different things that you can do depending on what subject you teach, and you can find this down in the description below, so I'll let you um, read those through for yourself. Here is an example of one that I made that I used with US history. And I gave them a quick intro here. And then after listening to the intro, they clicked and they started their adventure. One thing that you want to have them do is press present. That way they're in present mode. And then they're going to click and start their adventures. They'll read through this to make a choice. They can either go out west or they can move to the city. And this gives them a little bit of background for each historically so that they're also learning history as they go through this adventure. So let's say that they choose to do this one. You must find a job. And then it talks about industrialization. They're going to click on the arrow. Then they have a choice of a, a circumstance that happened. And then what are they going to do to uh, make that choice? And then it continues to walk them through this adventure. And eventually they will get to the end of their urban adventure. Some of them will choose to go out west. Some of them will choose to stay in the city. And as they're doing that, they'll be learning about those different options. I had them fill out notes and reflection questions just to prove that they had done this and ask them about the historical aspects of their adventure to show what they learned. I also put a link to that adventure in this description in case you want to access that and look through it more later. And the best way to go about making an adventure choice story is to plan it very well. Ditch That Textbook has an awesome template that works really well for planning these. And what you do is you go to this website and then you're going to make a copy. This is what the template looks like. You can start by putting in your event. I might put in here the introduction and then choice A is to go out west. Choice B. Oh, I guess that was choice B. It doesn't matter. Choice. The other choice will be urban. And then what happens? So out west, they might uh, get into a snowstorm. And urban, they have to work in a factory. So you get the gist here. And then what you can do with these little numbers is number so that you know which slides are which. This makes it really easy for planning purposes, especially when you start getting a lot of slides. Once you get your plan finished, you're going to go to your Google Drive and make a new Google Slides and you can title it however you want to title it. I'm going to say Out West Adventure. That's when you're going to start filling in your slides. So this might be my intro slide. And then I'm going to have my choice slides. I'm going to flip over to the one that I've already made real quick and then just show you. It'll be a little bit faster to show you. Basically here I just have the read below, make your choice. And then they have their two choices. Once I have my text boxes in here, I need to make sure and have the buttons. You're, so you're going to create your content and then create the buttons, which is what they'll actually click on to make a choice. To do that, you'll go up to insert and you'll click on shape. I used arrows, you can use whichever shape you want, and then you just draw it in there. Mine's already here, and then I put click here to go west. You'll see that that has a link to the next slide. My button over here that says click here to move to the city has a link for urban living. Let me show you real quick how to do that. I would go up to insert and Click on the arrow and I'm going to change the color. I'm going to insert a text box and say click here to go on or however you want to say it. Then I want to link a slide to that. Now I would already have my content slides created. So let's say that I want it to go to the next slide. I would click on this, highlight it, click on link. And then down here, it would be slides in the presentation. So I'm going to say slide three and press apply. That's going to automatically change that wording to blue and underlined. 
I can change it up here to black so that it's easier to see. And then when students click on that, it will take them to slide three. That's the most important part about this adventure story is how to link your slides. You can also link things to a picture if you'd like. So you can insert an image by searching the web. Say that I want to uh, do a covered wagon. And then maybe they would click on the wagon instead of the arrow. You can highlight that picture and then press link, slides and presentation, and it will take them to the next slide and you press apply. You'll probably have to have uh, some kind of, you know, signal click on the wagon. And then when they click on the wagon, it will take them to slide three. So you can do it in those two different ways. At the very end, I have about, you know, your journey is done. This, this would be the journey for the urbanization or the people that, that did urbanization and it explains how and, and what happens at the very end. This information is in one of the questions that I'm gonna ask them on the reflection sheet. So it kind of forces them to read that when their journey is done. And then there's a different one for the Oregon Trail if that's the choice that they made. Uh, the other thing that I had them do was a Flipgrid response. So once they filled out their reflection sheet, they did a Flipgrid response in order to talk about what happened to them. So if they chose to go out west and they didn't get the experience of urbanization, they'll listen to another student who had that experience. That's a part of their reflection as well. So once the Flipgrids are all done, then I tell them, go find a student that makes different choices than you and review their choices. That way they kind of get both sides no matter what choice they're actually making. Here's just a quick checklist. Do your flow sheet, create your content, add the buttons, share with students. You can share with students by simply giving them the link on the hub or uh, in the chat. Make sure it says anyone with a link can view. If you have students create these, you could do a adventure gallery walk where they all swap links and they have to take each other's adventure. That'd be kind of cool. I haven't done that yet, but I would like to. The other thing that you can do that might be a little bit more realistic is adding in pictures that show a background. So this one would be a really good you know, background for, you know, if we're going, if we're doing something about out West and you could have your story up here in the text box, but just have the, the picture bigger. This one, I didn't do that because I was doing it really quickly and I was just trying to get it finished. But if you wanted to do that, I mean, the sky is the limit, really. You can have anything in here that you want to put in here. And that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about how to make a Google Adventure Story, please send me an email and I would be more than happy to help. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.